we've got two savvy veteran teams on the court. You so you don't expect a lot of mistakes or sloppy play tonight. Yeah, definitely a lot of experience on the floor. So teams will play the right way. These guys know exactly what they're doing. If both squads can keep things tight, we could be in for a very competitive game. Here are the starters for Houston. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Green is the two with Tate at the three. And it's Porter in at the point. Now here's Porter. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Here's Reeves. Green covering. Davis. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. And the Rockets making a change here. That free throw good from Davis. No one can make headlines like LeBron. There was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. Pass to James. Here's Miracle Man. The shot's good on the assist by James. LeBron James. It's empowering to play with LeBron because if you get open, he will find you. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the ball. So a free throw coming up for an opportunity in a three-point play. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it would be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. The shot by Reeves, no good. For Houston, they've gone one for three so far. Outside Tate. Walker with some nice D. The Lakers have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. It's intercepted! Green in the post. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. And here's Porter outside. And Reeves pulls it down. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. On the wing, Porter. His offense has been fantastic. Averaging just over 17 a game. Now Los Angeles with it. Davis, the pass to Jane. And he drains the quick shot. Nice touch on the jumper. Even at this stage in his career, LeBron's floor spacing ability continues to evolve. Now here's Green. His last outing, he had 24 points. Here's Porter. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And Miracle Man gets it to go. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, Smitty. Tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. Tate's shot is off. The Lakers in the lead. To the inside. Here's James. Banked it in off the glass. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And here is Green. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Nails it from three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Boy, you look at Jalen Green. All the tools to be a star. It may take some time, but growing up, he was always the most talented. Liquor player. He is a chip. Substitution on the court. So it's the Lakers now. Davis and Bryant, the two big men up front. Then it's Lonnie Walker, and it's Miracle Man in at the point guard position. That's the Laker five. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. 
It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. All right, time for an entry report. Thanks. I caught up with the head athletic trainer for the Rockets. He told me that some strained elbow ligaments are the concern. At this time, doesn't appear to be any major damage. And losing a player as the season really hits its stride is going to be tough for them. Hopefully, it's a speedy recovery. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take wow. only so much. And just continuing to impress at every level. Earl Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit. Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman. And he's just starting to tap into his potential now. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grip. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Number yeah, he one. really does, B.A. He's a humble guy who puts in extra time at practice and it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. Smith passes to Tatum. Pass to Shengu. Yes, it's good. Shengu's got his first bucket of the night. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Miracle Man. He's guarded by Porter. And counted. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Their offense is really humming right now. It is because of the beautiful ball distribution. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Los Angeles? For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. Thanks, guys. Well, Miracle Man, the last time out against the 76ers, put on a show. He picked up 16 points, and his assist total was through the roof. He put up huge numbers last time out. We'll see if it's more of the same tonight. Guys? Well, it'll be interesting to see how much of that performance carries over into this one. His goal is to provide whatever the team needs from him on that particular evening. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. You know, the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. Anthony. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Left side, Tate. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at five. Foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Rick, we always talk about great footwork for close players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score. Whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who can do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Porter gets the bucket. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. To the middle. Here's James. And it's James with the chair. Very athletic move by LeBron on the slam, showing the defense. He still can be unstoppable. Outside Porter. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Hey guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Rockets will go for a different look here. Garuba's checked in for Smith. Martin comes in for Tate. Gordon, he's checked in for Green. And it's Christopher in for Porter Jr. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? It comes down to playing time. 
I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. That's his first personal foul. First free throw is good. Team foul. Shooting for Houston. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The Lakers have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Pass to Davis. Westbrook outside. And here's James. Inside. Here's Miracle Man. The shot's good on the assist by James. He's got ten. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Here's Christopher. Averaging around five points a game. Another shot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his second personal foul. And he knocks down. Substitution. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers. That's the closing the first half. For the score, your Lakers, 49, the Rockets, 42. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day as we return to the court here on 2K Sports. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup, and they took the necessary time to exploit it. So the Houston five right now. Green is the two with Tate at the three. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. And it's Porter in at the one. The combination of agility and reach makes AD a lethal defender. Number one. Capable of sending shots That's back three. from anywhere. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Here's Porter. Not going to go that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And Miracle Man gets it to go. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. The Rockets with another miss. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Tipped away. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. No, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. Porter shot is off. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Miracle man. Porter pulls it in. The Rockets have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Looking to end this cold spell. Here's Shangun. And a nice finish on the layup. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. The Lakers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Here's Miracle Man. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, that's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. Inside. Here's Porter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, you know, after he was jettisoned by the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. getting a second chance here with the Rockets. And they put the ball in his hands and believe in him. And Kevin Porter with an opportunity in Houston now to learn from his past mistakes. Well, B.A., controlling his turnovers, now still a work in progress, but all these early reps will serve him well long term. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Then it's Lonnie Walker and it's Reeves in at the two guard spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Just five on the clock. From the high post. 
Tate's shot is off. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got four rebounds in the game. Green, the pass to Shangoon. Tate against Walker. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. They're finding ways to get the ball to the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. in the post and yep it's good this is terrific wrong. play this is why you run your offense through him and live with the results and slam dunk by james sometimes you have to sit back and enjoy the show lebron james is a legend appreciate what we are watching back to porter to the middle. Here's Green. Cash. Jaylen Assisting Green. on the play was Porter. Porter's got his third assist of the night. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Davis. And finished off by Davis. Business like focus. AD presents a big target on the road. Bucket. Outside. Green. Now here's Porter. Defense is right there. Tate with it. Back to Porter. Fires the three. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Down low. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. LeBron James. 20 points for him. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Outside, Green, back to Porter. Smith outside. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation of high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on the NBA? I love this. I mean, the NBA really truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of the NBA where everyone is welcome. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. They are dominating the paint in this one. Consistent work inside throughout the game. They've also been striking from mid-range with great consistency tonight. They just own that part of the floor in this one. against Walker. Back to Green. Pass to Tate. Two minutes remaining in his ball game. Two minutes. And it's blocked by Davis. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Jones, he's checked in for the Lakers. Beverly comes in for Reeves. The Lakers have gone 7 for 11 so far in the fourth. To the paint. And he trains it. A solid five for six now. Back in the day, big man would carry your offense. Times have changed. But 80s, one who can still do it. Back to Washington. There's a minute 34 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. It's incredible, and I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to this game than threes and dunks. Oh, it's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. B.A., <laughs> it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. 
their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for LeBron James. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. Pass to Beverly. Goes up from the top of the key. And they recover it. Davis, the pass to James. Beverly with it. The putback. Washington grabs the miss. Inside. A shot to stop the drought. Hits the trifecta. A smooth shot from Washington at the arc. He has certainly worked hard to build his efficiency from range. It's James on the wing. Here's Miracle Man. Soft Number touch one. off the glass. LeBron James. This has to feel assist. good. They gave their fans a show and secured the, the W. Ball. They're going to win no. by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. So we see the Lakers I taking the it. W here. No. Well, this might not have been the most competitive yeah. game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their oh, masterful like performance. And I'm and sure the their fans team. appreciated it, too. Please. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that'll do it, folks. Hey, congrats on the win. Now, it looked like you were in attack mode from the outset tonight. What made you so aggressive out there? I'm just trying to win. Coach told me before the game. Why you bring that money to the club if you ain't?